Hey there, oracles. So today I'm gonna to break down my 2022 and 2023 projections for Tesla stock. So I'll break down all of my different projections for deliveries, for production, and for me, production and delivery numbers are gonna be pretty much the same. I see for 2022 and 23 that Tesla is going to sell out of every single vehicle that they can produce, they're going to sell them all. And as far as the macro environment is concerned in my projections, I didn't really factor in much of it uh, because there's so much uncertainty. We know short term there's going to be a lot of roller coaster rides going on. The interest rates are most likely going to be going up in March, but we don't know how that's going to affect anything. So I'm going to be projecting my numbers based on end of the year because I think end of the year, despite what happens over the next six to eight months, we should still end up in around the same place unless anything catastrophic happens and we do hit a recession of some sort. So again, uh, my numbers and projections that I have in place right now are as if we are not going to go into a recession and we are going to get through interest rates going up with roller coaster rides, but still an upward trend. All right, so to start for 2022, I did revise down my delivery projections just a little bit. And I did so because of the delays going on with Berlin, Austin I thought was going to be online sooner, and the Cybertruck is not going to be coming out I've got deliveries for Cybertruck actually really starting to hit in Q2 of 2023. So cutting out Cybertruck, cutting down delivery or production from Austin and Berlin, I've still got it at 1.75 million vehicles delivered for 2022. And I've got the average vehicle price still around 51,000. That might actually be low because the fact that all of the price increases that Tesla has continued to give out are just now starting to hit. So they're hitting now, and I have no doubt over the course of the year, that is only going to increase as well. So 51,000 might be on the lower end. And so every quarter when we get our earnings update, I will definitely update my numbers based upon the prices that uh, Tesla has been increasing or decreasing over the course of the year. And revenues in 2022, I have getting really close to $100 billion. I've got them at $95.8 billion of revenue total revenue for 2022. And so now I see margins in 2022 being about 30%. Despite two factories ramping, I think Tesla is going to have a good sense of how to be able to mitigate and handle some of these. The supply chain issues they did say are starting to alleviate. So I think that they are going to bring costs down. And the more you produce, the lower the costs are. So when it comes to Tesla over in Shanghai, those costs are going to keep coming down, which are going to improve margins there. And again, off to help to offset the margin hits that they're gonna be taking in Austin and Berlin. Plus with Tesla having so much control over pricing right now, their pricing power is the highest it probably has ever been. So they can adjust the prices however they want to in order to keep their margins higher. And uh, you know their goals are to keep the margins over 30%, if not more. So they can just adjust prices accordingly along the way. And if the chip supply issues alleviate, that means that the chip cost prices may come down, which will then lower the cost of producing a vehicle. So the higher prices will give them even better margins as well. Now, when it comes to energy, I think we're going to start ramping energy more significantly in 2022. Uh, Elon did say that they kind of pushed energy to the wayside at the end in the fourth quarter due to ship, uh, chip supply issues. So I think that uh, now that the chip supply issues are going to be alleviating over the course of the year, we'll see more chips getting dedicated to the energy storage. And then I think 2023 is really where energy is going to start taking off again. But we do need to remember that they are still ramping up EVs. Elon does still want to have the Model Y become the best selling vehicle in the world in 2023. So they do need to get dedicate the majority of their chips to their vehicles because that is where their focus is at the current moment. Despite the fact that on the earnings call, they said that their number one focus is going to be FSD and the Tesla bot. They truly are still dedicating their resources when it comes to production to the EVs themselves. And while I'm sure the ramping of Shanghai educated them a bit to the costs that they may incur at Austin and Berlin, they still need to go through this. It's different countries, different situations. 
in different areas, so it may play out slightly differently, but at least they have a general idea. So there will be extra cost hits accordingly over the course of this year. And so for year end of 2022, I have their EPS at 1479 with a PE ratio around 130, and that gives them $1,922 for a price target. And so now for 2023, I see the price of the each average vehicle being the same. I left it at $51,000. Very good chance that it could be going up based on price increases over the course of the year. Uh, SNX model also ramping further. And then in 2023, the Cybertruck coming out. So it could very well be higher than 51,000, but I left it at 51,000 just for now, and I will adjust that over the next few quarters. And so for production and deliveries, I have them nearly hitting 50% based off of my base targets. Now, my targets for 2022 are based on, you know, Tesla said that they're gonna be able to get to 50% production basically out of Fremont and Shanghai. So then you bump up a little bit more, you know, their base target's probably around 1.6. So I'm significantly higher than what they are. Elon did say that they should comfortably come in above 50%. So based off of that, my numbers of 2.6 million coming in for 2023 are still 50% higher than what Tesla's projections are for 2022. And so I've got them slated at 2.58 million deliveries in 2023. And my specific vehicle breakdown for deliveries in 2023, I've got Model Y at 1.3 to 1.4 million vehicles sold. This is going to be based on you know, Tesla and Elon's predictions that they are going to have Model Y being the best selling vehicle in the world. So putting that at 1.3 to 1.4 million vehicles will do just that. I think Model 3 will also sell a million vehicles worldwide in 2023, which leaves about 100,000 uh, Model S and Model X and around 50 to 80,000 Cybertrucks to come through in 2023. And in 2023, I have total revenues coming in at $153 billion. This is with energy just starting to get cracking on the ramping up, the Cybertruck just starting to get released and produced. And this is where FSD is going to, I think they might start breaking out FSD pricing in 2023 based on Elon thinking that they're gonna be completed with it in 2022. We'll see how that comes down. I think a lot of it's going to depend on what the take rate is, if the revenue really is high enough for them to justify breaking it out. Um, we'll see how that goes over 2023, but I still think the majority of the revenues are going to come from EVs still in 2023 as these other pieces just start ramping up. And I've got them at 32% margins. And I bumped that up because we saw what happened with Shanghai once they got one year down the road on their ramp a lot of those initial ramp costs were gone and the margin started skyrocketing. We're going to see the same thing coming out of Austin and Berlin, but this time it's two factories that are going to be coming out of initial ramp. So those costs will come away and then that margin switch will just magnify even more because it's two more factories. Plus Shanghai's margins are going to continue going up as well. So 2023, I definitely see margins going significantly higher and coming in on a yearly basis at 32%. And energy, I definitely see taking off. They may hit $4 billion for energy revenue in 2023. I've got them down for 3.8 billion. But uh, again, that one there, I'm going to adjust as this year goes on, because if they really have these mega packs pumping out, like we have been seeing at all these different uh, production facilities, I think we're going to see a significant energy growth starting very, very soon. So for the end of 2023, I see their EPS at 2980. I put a 100 PE ratio on it for a total of 2980 for the year end for a price target. So that is a little bit more than a 3X from where we are today. And so looking at these numbers, I definitely foresee us seeing a stock split within the next 12 months. My predictions are still holding around November timeframe. May happen sooner, may happen later. A lot of different factors involved when it comes to the company and their decisions, what they wanna make. So I'm going to continue updating all of my numbers through 2032. So I'll do it in two year increments, just like I have done today. So this way it'll break it down, give it a little more time for each year to break it down. And, um, and so I will go over these, I'm gonna be updating those. So as soon as I get 2024 and 2025 put together, I will share them with you guys. 
Let me know in the comments below. Do you think we can 3x in the next two years? Do you think it's going to happen sooner than that? Or do you think it's going to take longer than that? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and feedback. If you have not subscribed, please do so down below. Sign yourself up for notifications. I am over on Twitter at OracleTim1. I share all the latest Tesla news, pertinent stock market information, and all of my daily trades. Thank you all so much. Have a great one.